welcome to yet another Rayu family discussion where we talk about all things. This is a no judgment zone. Without further ado, we just gonna hop right into the video. Um, so the question is, would I rather be with a man that's broke and faithful or a rich man that's okay. unfaithful? Um, I'm going to go totally like left because <coughs> I feel like I've been with both parties and I feel like I've been with a broke man and he was unfaithful and disrespectful and insecure. That was the most unfaithful, insecure man that I've been with. And I've been with a rich man that was actually faithful and actually wanna like be with me and actually don't even care about other girls. You get what I'm saying? I don't think you have to be with broke and rich. I feel like a lot of time I think the rich man gonna cheat and the broke man gonna be faithful. And that's a, a whole lot of bullshit. A lot of times the broke man be, be so insecure and fucking ready to call your name and push you down because they know what you could do without them. That is so true. Like, men that don't have their shit together, I know it's like when men don't have their shit together, they can't really be the man that they want to be because they don't feel like a man. Like, it's something in the male psychology. Like, if, if you ain't at a certain point where you feel like you should be as a man, then it's like you not even a good person to yourself. So, I can see what she's saying. I, know, I understand what she's saying about, like, uh broke men they they sometimes be the most insecure like they they just be a lot of negative shit so is it and i know it's because like they don't got their shit together but if you feel like you don't got your shit together you should not be dating you shouldn't be dating if you know you broke but yeah it's also an insecure thing too because it's like they know like you got options they know it's better 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 niggas out there you know so you know what i'm saying and sometimes you get a rich man all they want to do is spoil you make you better make sure you get your things together make sure like you know you're not insecure about what they do mm -hmm. and sometimes a rich man don't even got time to cheat a man that's getting money a woman that's getting money believe it or not a lot of times they don't have time to cheat and when they do fuck a, a random girl they're not even trying to call you back they don't have that time to really get to know you because a lot of them got loyalty issues they don't want they don't trust nobody so they, when they get a female that they trust yeah they might fuck a random bitch but do they care about that girl no but like I dealt with a broke man and I dealt with a rich man. If I have to choose, because I already know what I've been through, I'll go with a rich man and, you know, randomly they will check because they don't have that much time to fucking go out like, and do and wild out like that. They uh, every man got time to cheat, especially if you got money, you can fly out. You only need 15 minutes to have sex. Oh, especially if they got money, the women flock. They flock, right, right, right. right. They, it's, 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 it's plain time no matter where you go, no matter what you do. It's always women. It's twenty-one to one out here. It, it, it's not. It's not fair. So you think a broke man don't got time to do? do well, can't get women? No, so broke men got time to cheat too. I'm just saying, I, rich men. Everybody rich. got time to cheat. No, that's what. That's exactly what. That's what, what I'm saying. saying. Oh, okay. I'm saying all got time to cheat. She's uh, gonna get on So that's exactly what Essel was saying. That. Every man has time to cheat because you did mention that you feel like a rich man does not have time to cheat if he's, you know, making money. But I feel like a man that has money, women are going to flock to him. Like a lot of a lot of women want want peace. Uh, so I feel like for for me to decide whether I want to, would I choose a broke man who's faithful to me or a rich man who is unfaithful that question it's it's very simple and easy for me to answer i'm never going to go with someone who's going to be unfaithful to me my priorities is someone who is going to be but that's all he can bring to the table he's broke what you yeah. <laughs> variables to this situation mm, so. he's going to be broke for the moment is he going to mm. be broke forever no maybe not, not what if he is 
Then what? What if he's yeah. broke forever? I, You've been waiting for a person. still playing at the no, moment. No, 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 no. You're trying to give him a variable with potential. Right. And now I'm going to be realistic. You're with a man who's broke. He's not going to be nothing in the next 10 to 15 to 20 years. You're with a man who's rich. He's going to be rich for the next 15 to 20 years. Yo, Which one are you choosing? Are you gonna be? Are you gonna be the provider for fifteen years? Damn. I mean, realistically, I wouldn't choose either of these niggas. You have to choose one. No, in this scenario. Mean, I'm just saying realistically. Okay, we understand. But why would I go <laughs> through ten yeah, right, to fifteen gonna... years with someone who is unfaithful to me? Because you love me. Because you this? can't afford to eat. That's why. <laughs> I could always afford All right. everything. <laughs> I'm with Amanda. If I had to choose with no variables, I'm definitely going with the broke person who's faithful to me. I. <laughs> y'all are crazy. Well, we need to <laughs> break up, y'all. I love y'all. Thank you. I've never been broke before. Yeah, I got you. I've never been broke. Yeah, man. When you've been broke, I've never been talking shit. It's not fun. I mean, like, that's your experience. My experience is not yours. So, my experience is me personally, I've never been a person. I'm not about a man and his money, the things he had. Like, that has never been me. So, I can't, I can't go. I'm never going to go on that. I definitely agree with her about that because, like, I'm not that type of woman either, but it is like a line there. Like he do have to have some money. He do have to be able to provide. And like if if y'all just if y'all dating, he got to be able to take you on dates and stuff. If y'all and pay for the dates, he got to be able to court you. Basically, what I'm saying is he still gotta have money. Broke don't mean like you got zero dollars and you can't do nothing for me. At that point, that is when you should be focusing on yourself, my boy. You should not be trying to be getting in a relationship if you can't afford it. A relationship is a luxury. A relationship with yourself is a necessity. A relationship with somebody else is, is a luxury. So you got to have a, a good relationship with yourself. And if you broke, it's like you must not be spending enough time with yourself. What are, what, are you, what are you passionate about? Like, what are your goals? What do you have planned for the next five years? What do you have planned in the next month? What's your goal going to be if you're considered a broke man? You have to have a plan. You have to have drive. You have to have uh, persistence and con consistency persistence and consistency a plan persistence and consistency those are the three things you have to have and then you you have to have like some type of income and whether it's like it's 800 every two weeks if it's what i don't know you gotta know how to budget too but if you're a broke man you gotta you gotta bring some to the table if you don't have nothing to bring to the table period like you shouldn't be dating you need to take a break hornball don't be no hornball just take a break and focus on yourself because how you gonna enjoy that luxury when you can't afford it and that's for women too if you're a broke bitch you need to be focused on your goals get your shit in order first and then it's gonna it's gonna fall into place. So that's my take on that. I, that stuff doesn't even impress me. I don't care about that. Like, so like if I, like I said, if I had to choose with no other variables, I'm choosing the broke person who is faithful to me. I don't care. Like, I, I, it's a problem for somebody. To that not be a realistic. It's a problem. That's her. That's your. This is your. This is. That not be a realistic. I was asking a question. Right? I know. I'm so just saying. About, I'm, not I'm, just, I'm not hostile. I'm just. So I'm not hostile. I'm just saying it might be realistic. I'm not hostile though. My personal <laughs> opinion and experience, okay. realistically, because I realistically am not going after me after my folks. For me, it's realistic. But we're not talking about going. We don't have to go after man. We can just have it. What are you looking up on? With some money. But he's unfaithful. I'm not choosing. I just want to go. I'm not choosing. I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm not choosing that person. Based on what the question that was asked, it's really straightforward. I'm choosing the person. I've never been broke and faithful. And broke people in one house have major freaking problems. Okay, it's not. It's not as smooth sailing. I'm, I'm gonna let you say it. Okay. Not say this. It's not as smooth sailing to that's just say I'm gonna be with somebody that's broke. It's arguments in there. Sex is trash okay. in there. I watched it. There's no. I watched it. You say broke means bad sex? No, no, no. no, no. I'm not. Nah, it, 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 it
it be good though, low key. That's why that's what'll keep you connected to a broke nigga, a broke female if they if they, they got that bum bum, they land it dumb dumb. So yeah, it, it gotta be some that's keeping you connected. Like I can't let this motherfucker go even though he broke his hell, he ain't got shit. This motherfucker can't even buy me no food. I guarantee you he putting that dick down. Guarantee you. Okay, 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 so you coming home is misery. I'm not saying that you gonna have sex and you can't. It's a lot of misery that comes with brokenness. And I'm not saying don't be with a dude that's broke and, and, and striving. I've been him, okay? I've, I've, found, I've, I've had mountains of money and filed bankruptcy and felt like the littlest nigga on the planet had to work my way back up. But the reason why the women... See, that's what I was just saying about... When I was saying like, if men not at a certain place in their life, then they feel like less of a man. So they do things, testosterone based things to try to make them feel like a more of a man. But it's a mental thing when you know you not where you should be, where you feel like you should be in life or where you want to be in life. Then it's just like... Stuck with me, work my way back up because they know I'm real with my shit. I put my heart in every fucking thing I do. So it doesn't matter if I'm broke or got money. You already know once you meet me, I'm going to get it, period. All right, can I go? Can I go? Can I go? One thing, one thing. Hold on. So you, just like you get your story just now, how come that can't be the story of the person I'm choosing? I didn't say. I didn't say. I'm just so yeah. I'm just so very tired of women that be like, I'm be with a broke man. I'm be with a faithful. That's what he's faithful. That's bullshit. What? That's what a lot of women can't do it. Why? They can't because it's hard. It's hard time. I live. I feel like men is not only how men want to. They would choose a broke female as if they got all the money. If men don't have money. Then they gonna choose a female with money. They not finna be like, they not finna wife up. You know, you gotta be beneficial. Uh, that's to in any relationship. You friends because you you give a benefit. You give love. You give care. You're friends because you're a great listener. You're friends because you have a a cool ass vibe. You your man is your man because he give he gives something to you that you feel like you were missing or something that you feel like you want more of and you're his girl because it's like he sees something in you it's a benefit i always i i be thinking like it's it's funny how women we will date it's funny how women will date a man's potential but a man is not finna date no woman potential like if if a man see like, oh, she ain't shit, but she got potential. Nine times out of ten, he not finna go for that. Like, only how he gonna like work with it is if he got a baby by her, maybe or some shit like that. But a man is not finna sit up here like, oh, she got potential. Let me let me give her a chance. Like, she got potential. And comment what you think. Do you agree with that or do you disagree with that? But I just feel like women always go for a man's potential instead of what that man is really showing you, where he really is right now. What are his, um, what are his good habits? What are his bad habits? What are some things that he can uh, strengthen? What what is some stuff? You know, what well, what's his plan? What's his plan? So instead of seeing like being blinded. We need to pay attention to what the person is showing us. All time, my whole life, it's not that easy as you think it is. You pull up, like, I watch literally my, and I hate bring up my mom and my dad. My, my dad was a broke man, and my dad actually loved the shit of my mom. But, like, the brokenness, the broke, like, him being broke. Yes, it's like that broke men really will give you their whole heart, but it's just like because they're not where they feel like they should be in life, it ends up, he end up not being a, a good man to you. It's because 
he still need to work on himself he still need to uh set goals for himself and and actually uh hold himself accountable also it's like nobody ever held him accountable probably like growing up and now he don't hold himself accountable this is nobody else's fault now because it's something that you need to do with yourself you need to spend time and analyze yourself and see what it is in me that I'm doing wrong to not be where I want to be. Or what do I need to start doing to get to where I want to be. So I can't enjoy me. Uh, so I can't enjoy a relationship with uh, my partner like that. And even if you are in a relationship. You can still work on yourself. But I think it's better to be single and work on yourself because that way you don't have to prioritize someone else's like prioritize somebody else basically you are your own priority all the time and not being able to give her what she want actually broke up the relationship coming home bad <laughs> argument fucking it became like you know my dad became so angry my mom just see she said her dad became angry that's his frustration that he's projecting onto his significant other because he wish he could be the man but he don't feel like a man on the inside that's why it's important to spend time with yourself spend time getting to know yourself spend time seeing find a hobby spend time doing things that you enjoy like what is something that you you can do that you just forget you forget time exists like you need to really and I feel like in your 20s, this is a whole nother topic, but I feel like in your 20s is when you should be single. I feel like you should be getting to know yourself, uh, building your lifestyle. Whatever whatever lifestyle you want to live, that's how you should be. You should be dating in your 20s. You should be enjoying life in your 20s, not taking things so serious. You know, everything should be lighthearted. Everything should be fun. Nothing should be like... Why you ain't answer the phone last night? Da, 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 da. Like, okay, like, just just kicking it. Like, it shouldn't be no stress on you for a nigga or vice versa. It shouldn't be no stress. It's just fun for now. Because they say you single until you married. And I'm starting to believe that more and more each day. I'm starting to, like, understand why people say that. But, that's a, again, that's accountability, too. Just because you broke, it don't mean you can take your frustrations out on me. I didn't tell you to be broke, nigga. I didn't make you broke. That don't mean you can just take it out on me and be a bad man to me. But it's accountability on both ends. You know you need to be somewhere further in life. Or or you know you should be making more money. Or you know you should, you, you should be yeah, making more money or doing better financially. You should be financially up there i don't want to say independent because like you have time to learn that but if you having a family and stuff then you i'm sure you would want to be financially independent and be living comfortably if you know that you not there what you partaking in things that make your life harder for like a relationship that's that's a luxury but it's also work and then with sex and then what if your significant other get pregnant or what if you get pregnant and you know that if you're a woman what if you get pregnant and you know that like your man can't afford this baby you shouldn't be putting yourself in them type of situations as a man or as a woman y'all both know what it is so it's accountability if you know you broke plan make a plan get goals going start working on your goals be consistent self-motivate you gotta self-motivate watch things that do things that motivate you um and if you're a woman and you dealing with a broke dude it's accountability you had time to realize and recognize that he's not financially where he should be or where you feel like he should be or where you would want your significant other to be hold yourself accountable you saw the signs you knew what it was unfortunately she can't pay the bills she can't send us to school it's actually all this and it's like okay 
I see where we at. How do we change that? If y'all want to stick with each other, how do we change that? I, babe, you broke, but I got this idea and we can, we can put it together. And as long as we work consistently on it, or as long as we do this every da da da, then it's going to happen. Like, put together a plan. If y'all want to stay together, or if you're a guy and you broke and you want to stay with your significant other, you work together. Work together. Or if the woman feel like it's not my job to get him to where he need to be. But if she still want to stay with him, you got to support him. Don't like tear him down and tell him how broke he is, how this and that. Because if he trying, that's going to get everything. That's, that's right there. He done got the ball rolling already. So you got to support him and be that like just be that support for him that emotional support be that motivation for him just be there for him problems that are out of with a broke man that's what it is you might be like oh i'm a struggle with him but when you see your kids can't eat you can't pay that rent you can't pay that corner you get a different type of thing i mean i just want to go go ahead y'all already know what i'm saying I'm of course I'm gonna choose the guy with money because like y'all was sitting you then saying broke men there comes problems one when you're broke ladies y'all miserable when y'all broke y'all gotta get to the bag man you have a big company you get into the bag imagine if you wasn't getting to the bag so a man who's not getting to the bag he's a man a man is automatically supposed to be a provider am I wrong mm -hmm. okay so he's gonna be mad at the fact like damn He's gonna be jealous of you because my woman makes my woman makes more money than me. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting at home not doing shit. I'm a low life. Now he's miserable all day. He could be the faithful nigga it's in the so world. Short. Yeah, he gonna be resentful. I agree with her. He gonna be resentful, insecure, all type of stuff just because he feel like he not where he needs to be in his life. And if he ain't doing nothing to make that change, then mm -mm, baby, that's a no no. He can be so faithful to you, but one, he's not gonna be able to love you right. One, because he's broke. He's not gonna be able to provide. Then it's gonna be arguments in the household because he's gonna feel like, damn, I can't do shit. He's miserable. Misery loves company, right? Mm -hmm. When you get, when you went, all right, he could be faithful, cool. But now you're dealing with a nigga with money and you know, you know he's unfaithful. I'm not saying it's the best life to live, but I'm saying you know what comes with that. He's dealing with all these females. Okay, you could have a dude or two on the side. But, I mean, it, it really. It's about your mouthpiece. Girls fall in love through their ears. A lot of a lot of girls do. But women who understand like women who are wiser, then it takes more. It takes for you to show them. It takes for you to yeah, basically show them who you are. You like if they are train they train themselves emotionally and they understand how men operate and stuff like that then it's gonna be harder to get that woman to fall in love off of just dr dreams that you sell her if it's a rich dude you know you really know what you signing up for if we be honest because you know it, it's a lifestyle thing but it depends on the type of dude though because i do think that guys can be faithful so i just feel like you gotta know who you dealing with Stop, but you know like the bills are gonna be paid what? you know you're gonna have food on the table you know you're gonna have food on the table you know you're gonna be straight you don't gotta worry about damn if next month rent is due i could barely afford it my man don't got money like no girl realistically wants a broke man i'm sorry to I, 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 but you gotta be realistic but y'all do it don't matter how i was gonna say it's okay to make up that's what i was gonna say to you that's what i was gonna say to you I hope you don't get my work too. You're faithful. You could be unfaithful too. Y'all could be in a happy relationship. You got too much going on. You got too much going on. But there are, but there are people, right? You be in a situation if we real, right? You can be with a woman and have money at the beginning and don't have it. That's how you right. know what's real and yeah. what's not. You feel what I'm saying? So you have it and then you lose it and then now you're trying to. I think you have to see a person through all four seasons before you can really tell who they are. Like, that's what Medea said that, and then it stuck with me. 
you got to see a person through all four seasons like you got to see a person literally through all four seasons because that's going to show you that give you enough time to see how they act when they broke that give you enough time to see how they treat people that they feel like, uh, like do they hold grudges? How they treat people that they feel like did something to them? Are they passive aggressive? Um, how they act during happy moments? Um, how are they when they are at their peak? Like seeing somebody through all four seasons, it allows you to make a good judgment on that person, I feel like. find your way back but if you had it and lose it as, as a person you don't even need the other sex you're miserable by yourself right that money the one thing a wise woman i fucked with a woman that was 10 years that had 10 years on top of my age and she said you know what money is a mood changer it's the number one mood changer in this see that's what i just said you gotta see how how he act when he up there when he ain't got no money, you gotta see how he is. Like, you just gotta see how he is. When is you, you forgetting who you is when you got hella money or what? When you broke, how you acting? You humble again? Like, what's up? Let me know some. So yeah, I agree with him on, on that. What he just said. Well, if you think you getting a check, you right here that don't care about no money, let a nigga say you getting thirty thousand dollars. Let me just say, but 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 listen, but, but listen, let somebody say you getting thirty thousand dollars and you planning and you got plans for this shit and you happy, you happy for three fucking weeks thinking you gonna get this money and you don't get that shit. You ready to murder everything moving. Back. You hate everybody. You don't want no pussy. You don't want to see no bitches. You don't want to do nothing. That's what I heard too. I heard guys say like they don't even, they be disgusted with they self when they ain't, uh, when they broke. They be disgusted with they self. So it's like he can't even perform correctly because Although he's still indulging in things that he can't afford, he can't perform correctly because it's like, well, he, he can't perform correctly, but it's just like, he resentful. So it's like, now it's like, I don't even want to, um, you might think it's you, he got an attitude, you might think it's you whole time, it's just him knowing like, I ain't on, I ain't on shit right now, like, I ain't got nothing. I'm like down bad right now. You might think uh, he ignoring you cause uh, you don't even know why. And it ain't got nothing to do with you whole time. You sitting in the house trying to figure out who you gonna rob and steal from. Get it back. So how the fuck you think you gonna be loving the motherfucker? I got a you gotta be taking 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 Somebody who has money and is unfaithful, you think all that money can't be taken away from you the same way a broke person can come into money? What I said was, when you have money and you lose it. I didn't say a broke person. I said, when you have it and you lose it, no, I'm that's when that's when you earn. See, I'm I'm going based upon experience. Like, that's what I'm talking about. I don't go based upon what I think and what I feel. I live this shit. Mm -hmm. I, I, grew, I, I, I grew up poor in South Jamaica, Queens. I didn't have shit, okay? I grew up poor in South Jamaica, Queens. I found a way to play ball, got my scholarships taken, went to college, got a scholarship, graduated with two degrees, came out, wasn't no fucking bread. Wasn't shit. Okay? <laughs> I had to, I went into the music business and said, told niggas about my degree. Nobody gave a fuck. They looked at me like I heard. Then I had to say, fuck my degree. I'm from South Jamaica, Queens. I'm going to get this money. Then they started to respect me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Fuck my degrees. Fuck two of them. It doesn't matter. I got niggas over there that got hammers, and they going to do what I need to do to get this fucking bread. Dang, and that's messed up, too. It's like you went to college, and people still ain't hearing you. This man say he got two degrees and nobody still ain't hearing you. So that's like, 
So you actually did have a plan, like trying to do something with your life, but it don't stop there though. Let's not, it's a, it's all about accountability. If the way that you're approaching it and it's not working, try a different approach. If that approach not working, try a different approach. If this is something that you really want to do, try another approach. You got to study it from every angle, every angle. So... But to hear him, hear him say he got two degrees and everybody like they they weren't hearing none of that until he got like on that gangster shit. That's crazy, cause people preach college so much. And that's what all the women respect. When you out there, you going to get your shit. You putting your shit down regardless. Back then, a whole bunch of money to me was fifty thousand dollars. Now that shit is trash. But when I was going to get it, it was what we needed. What did we need? We was hungry as a fucking nigga. We was not fresh. We needed everything to do to even put us in a good mood to meet a woman and love somebody. Yeah, that mess with your confidence. Even as a woman too, if like you broke and you know like damn I ain't shit. It fuck with your confidence. But especially for a man, it's like they they gotta be all macho and they are naturally the hunters. They are the ones who we uh who they are the ones who are supposed to have all the money and they supposed to be the breadwinners. So when it's like you ain't got no bread then leave. So money means a whole lot well, of shit. Going. I'm gonna go next. So, I'm a t first of all, I agree 100% with you. Uh, similar story. So, uh, <laughs> what I'm gonna say is, one, I feel like women take cheating personal. And that's a problem. You know what I'm saying? I see, that's what I was saying. Women take it, it like, not just cheating, but it's like, if he mad at you today, or if he mad, he acting distant today, a woman would think like, what did I do? Is there something wrong with me? And then, that'll spark her to, instead of giving him his space. Now, some women do have control over their emotions and they don't just act impulsively and selfishly instead of giving him his space that will cause the woman to chase the emotions that she feels in the confusion is like why is he acting like this i didn't i don't like i'm not understanding and it don't have nothing to do with you whole time like it's because of the issues that he needs to deal with the issues that he needs to analyze and stop running from it's because of stuff like that. Or even if he not like a broke boy, it's, it, it, it still could have nothing to do with you. Don't take cheating personal. You know, you rather a broke man who doesn't have nothing to offer. That means he can't teach you. He can't guide you. He can't finance you or support you in any way, shape, form possible. But he can just not have sex with another woman. Versus a man who can teach you how to boss up, teach you how to be a better person, guide you to the business that you need to create, and then also supply whatever support that you need for whatever business or whatever aspiration that you have as a person. But the flaw that he might have is from time to time, he might have sex with a random girl. Talk. Now, now listen, now listen, y'all taking cheating personal. I'm not. No, I'm not saying. But why though? Why is that okay? Like I understand the this the distinction, is that the word? That he made between the two. Like you rather just be getting fucked by a nigga that can't do shit for you or you rather like to be with somebody that can get you right mentally, put you in the right mindset mentally, somebody that could boss your life up physically, financially, you straight, basically. But he gon' He gonna dibble and dabble. But why is that okay though? Like, why he can't just be, you know, faithful? That you are. I'm not saying that you are. I'm saying women that do, they're taking cheating personal. Cheating is not, I don't love you, so I'm gonna have sex with another woman. Can, can that happen? So do y'all think like, it's just something that men need to do? Like, men and women, do you think is the cheating or sleeping with someone outside of your partner every now and then do you think that 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 is something 
that men just need to do, just need to get it out of their system. Like, comment down below and let me know. Yes, yes, but more likely does it happen with a man? No. no. A man just has a, a desire. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, we he, he, he really wants this, but he, 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 he really, 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 he I also want to play because y'all always want to talk about the the broke man coming into money. Well, guess what? I know yeah, a lot. Of, I know a lot of females who had a broke man come into money, and, and she was no longer a part of the picture when he got into money. That's true too, though. Like when some broke boys come up. Then they, they get big headed and they like, oh, I got access to this bitch. I got access to this bitch. She a bad bitch. I got access to foreign hoes. I got access to bitches from Korea. I got access to bitches from Spain. I got access to these bitches, these bitches, these. Like, I got access to any area code, basically. Or I got access to, like, foreign bitches. Because when I was broke, these type of hoes didn't want me. So it's like, when you get up there... I feel like whole time you knew you was gonna switch up. Don't I, I feel like if you gonna if you gonna go from being a broke nigga to a nigga with money and you switch up on your person, I feel like that's bogus. Cause you could have been left them alone. Like, yo, I need to get my shit together for myself. Don't string somebody along and have them help you and support you and putting their all into you and be so proud of you and be proud to be with you and shit. Cause they see the progress that you made even when they when you ain't have nothing they was proud to be with you don't stream that person along and play with they feelings and then get big headed and say fuck them when they was down with you that's bogus like just let them know in a dough you already know what you gonna do if you pop it off man. don't use nobody as no oh maybe just in case just in case i might have to stay with you if this don't work out as planned First of all, you shouldn't be doubting yourself. And second of all, if you you know this ain't really what you want, you know way before you get money that this ain't really what you want. You just doing it for now because this 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 is your only option basically. That's bogus to me. You just let you should just let a person know. So if they still deal with you, that's on them because you was honest about it. That's how people get hurt and all type of things. Like, don't just stream me alone for all these years and then when you get to somewhere that you're proud of or something like that, now you ditching me like, like I ain't shit. Y'all supported that man. Uh -huh. That man got his bread, and that man started fucking bitches that was better than you and had more to offer. Yeah, and let me tell you. Oh, why because he felt like you was his only option so at the time he already knew when i get on this this already going on in his mind when i get on i'm gonna have this whole my that whole my bad hoes he are you already know that in the dough if you want to be with somebody or not like come on now I love the whole beat up on the broke faithful man. That was beautiful. Well done, asshole. Well done, Rico. Um, Danny and Tiffany, bro, fucking oh. Now I'm gonna talk about the other side, the rich man, right? With. Um, that is unfaithful. And remember, we talked about is love enough. So we're not off that topic. So you got the rich man. He got the bag. Cool, right? He could provide the lifestyle that Rico was talking about. But then he's not home enough, right? Um, if he's unfaithful, that means, and if there's kids present, he's unfaithful to the kids as well. Because not only is he hurting mom. Stop at that very Oh, unfaithful. Oh, Yeah. 
So like I said, most likely we were talking about, you know, is love enough? So they said the broke, like back to what I said, so the rich man that is unfaithful, so he's unfaithful, cool, he's making the money, cars, vacation, all that, he's looking good on the grand face, but cool. But what's all said and done, he is unfaithful to his woman, right? And if there are kids involved, he's unfaithful to the kids. So we're going to talk about teaching, right? What is he teaching his wife and kids that I have the money, I make the rules, and that's it. What about the love? What about the communication, right? Fine, let's take away kids, right? There's no variables, because I hear people huffing and puffing. So fine. Right, I agree with him on that because it's like, it's, it gotta be a partnership. It gotta be 50-50 or it's not gonna be real. Like, we, we just in this bitch, no feelings and just using each other. This is not fun. This is not how you would want to spend your life like that's miserable at some point your feelings is gonna be like this ain't it like i agree it, it ain't what what he's saying is like it's not all about the money which is not but he do have to have money and a plan Especially if you want to do things that men do. You want to fuck? You have to have a plan. You want to indulge in sex and all this type of things. All these luxuries. You have to have your sh your ducks in a row. And it's just about the me having a bag. I mean, the rich man having a bag and being unfaithful. He is showing this woman that I got the bag. You gonna do what I say? I'm unfaithful. You should be happy providing this lifestyle. You know how many people will kill to be in your spot? That's what it sounds like. But at the end of the day, we're talking about love enough, right? And some women chose broke, faithful. That's also setting boundaries. Like you want to teach the person how to treat you. And if you showing them like, all right, I forgive you because you buy me a Birkin, so I forgive all that cheating you did. He gonna be looking at you like you go digging, bitch. Like, do you really care? Type shit. But I think those type of females still be in their feelings. They just got more control over it. They don't show it. They don't show it to the public, but they probably showing it to that nigga behind the scenes. But. I just feel like that's a miserable ass life. You just with somebody for the money and yeah, y'all life good, but you not fulfilled emotionally. You not fulfilled like you want more. It's it's, it's everybody want to be a savage, but that ain't how we operate. Everybody is not savage. Now you can you can um. You can't adopt savage ways. Learning to control your emotions, I believe. Learning to control your emotions is a savage trait. It's a savage way. Because a motherfucker can't never have you how they want you. They can't never have you wrapped. So, that's a savage trait to me because it's something lacking. <laughs> Rich, unfaithful. At the end of the day... I say do what your heart desire, but I just don't like that the fact that you're beating up on a broke man. So I'm playing devil's advocate. No, 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 and she's a real rider. She said, you know what? I don't want us to be broke no more. No. So, wait, wait, let me go. God damn. That's exactly what I was saying. Like, if y'all gonna stay together, at least you gotta support him. Like, motivate him. Have his back. Come up with a plan. Help him execute it. Or, like, if he come up with a plan, just be his support system on the back end. That's exactly what I was saying. Damn! All right, go ahead, girl. I don't want us to be broke no more. So you know what? I'm going to get the bag. I'm going to show my man how we can get this bag. Hey, hey, it doesn't matter. It's a two. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And with the rich man, wait, 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 wait. And with the rich man, hold up. And with the rich man, right, that is being unfaithful, 
you know, if the woman can teach him something as well, I feel like this all teachable lessons in both sides. That's all I'm saying. It's I both, I'm just, I'm just no, no, ask, you ask ever fucked with a rich bitch before? I have not. Okay, I fucked with a rich bitch before. Mm -hmm. The money didn't mean shit. Mm -hmm. So how these women are thinking that the money means a big deal? Like this lady, I had a rich bitch bought me everything. Chat took me around the world. That's what I'm saying. If you just living for the money, then it's like that's misery. But if you you rich, your man rich. You you got everything you want. You can't have anything you want. You already got everything you want. You don't need for nothing. You telling me you ain't finna get lonely? You ain't finna want that affection? You ain't finna want that connection? That mentally emotional uh connection? We fucked and it was cool. Mm -hmm. But her money and her buying me shit didn't make me love her. We think differently. They're, they're, they're thinking differently. So that what you have in your mind and what you're motivated by say the broke nigga, I'm sympathetic to the broke nigga. Okay. Right? But what I tell the broke nigga to do is go get you some fucking money. Mm -hmm. Find a fucking way, yeah, man. man. Because, but I'm not even going on being a man. Honestly. I'm not on the be a man, be a woman thing because we're supposed to be a team, right? But we're talking about them and love and all the rest of this shit and how it goes. Is it in, enough? How, how it goes in reality. So my experiences in this world is no, it's not enough. But for me, love would be enough for me because I got my shit. Right? I don't need nobody for nothing. So what I need in my life is somebody that's going to love me and that's going to round out my total picture. That's me. But what Rico said, you can build up a broke hey, man and he needs you. You can build up a broke man. You can build up a Honestly, after everybody talk and I have time to think and watch everybody say what they have to say, mm -hmm. honestly, I wouldn't choose either. You need a balance in life. Two wounds don't look okay. right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You need someone to have something. I don't want to take care of no man. I don't want to struggle with you. I already did that with my family. I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not in my early, I'm in my late 20s. I don't have time for that. You know what I'm saying? It's like, give me a balance. I'm not. Yeah, at some point, you do have to have your shit together. It is important for you to have your shit together. You cannot be complacent. Like, I agree with her. Like, broke man, rich man, you need to be in the middle. Like, growing your business. Have a business doing good or have a have a side hustle. Have a, have an income and, and be doing your own thing. You need to have a plan. You need to uh, be actively working on what it is, something that you own or something like that, or or a career. You can't just be, oh, uh, like you need to have your shit together by a certain age. And it's in a relationship, y'all do supposed to compromise, but you shouldn't be having to raise a nigga. And, but I'm saying, like, if he broke, though, and you want to be with him, like, y'all want to be with each other, then y'all can come up with a plan together. You can be his support system. Y'all can uh, come up with something. But, like she said, she don't choose no rich man because you not finna just walk over me just because you, you got money. If you, you, you want a man, like, okay, he gonna take good care of me. And you don't really care about if he's taking good care of you emotionally, uh, uh, sexually, meaning like he's putting you at risk and stuff like that. If you don't care if he's taking care of you mentally, then okay. But um, that's cool. That's cool if if that's the type of man you want. But for someone who does want to to love and to be loved, I think he, I agree with her. You do need a balance. Like, you not my ruler. You not over me, but you are the lead. I will let you lead and be a man, but you not finna just be... I'm not finna bow down to you. Like, we both got our own... We both got something that we bring to the table financially, 
in, in every other aspect. I'm not to be a millionaire, but I'm asking for you to be good enough to pay my bills or help me pay my bills or help me pay the rent. You know what I'm saying? Help me pay for something. I'm not going to sit there and be paid for rent. And be, if a nigga love you, he going to help you. He gonna, if but, a nigga no, love you or care about but, you, real that's shit. What I'm if, you, if you're fucking with a nigga, I'm just being, whether he's a side dude or not, yeah. right? If you're fucking with a nigga and you're not the Hall of Fame, like you said, he is going to help you. Oh, Oh, a, man, no, no. a real man is not going to be comfortable to be broke and just lay in bed all day next to you no. and talking about how broke he is. You might think that's cool. Let's say a real person. Let's say a real person. Let's say a real person. You ain't being a real person because I don't want no, I, I, I don't want no broke bitch laying up yeah, next I feel to me. Like not trying to get up right. and do nothing. And it's not, it got to be a balance. You know what I'm saying? Y'all both can just sit there. Oh, broke man is like, okay, I'll make it with a broke man because he's faithful. Fuck that faithful shit. What, what's good with everything I got to pay? What? What's good with you? When you think I'm gonna look at you as a man if you can't be? That's true though. It's partnership. They supposed to take some of the like weight off your shoulders. Like where they see you, you lacking that. They supposed to be able to pick up right there. But it's all about you gotta have a plan though. Like you, you gotta know who you dealing with and know what you want from them. If we shit, I'm doing that. We want to go. So I can't do that. Danny's about money. I'm not about money. I, no, I'm not. I said I need a balance. I never said I need a millionaire. I never said that. But yeah. I need a man that have a job yeah. that's making that's breaking money in. But yes, you know your job. But still, that's your priority. Yeah, but I, yes, you know your job. I keep you six months. You know what I'm saying? Priority. But you're not gonna lose your job two years later. You laying out in there like a bum. No, get the fuck out of here. I'm out of here. And so we're not like building a no grown ass man up either. Like trying to get a job. Nobody wants somebody no, who is complacent with having nothing. But can I say one last thing? Um, they had a, they had a study up here, right? When I came here a few weeks ago, and the renegade said she did a study that only nine percent of the people in the continental United States make over a hundred thousand dollars. Yes. Right? You don't have to make nine, no, but I'm just saying, and a hundred thousand dollars ain't shit, especially in New York City. Seventy like K. So, so what I'm saying is that if it's only really nine percent of the people that's making this money, that's a that's six figures, right? Mm -hmm. What are we talking about with who got money and who don't? Because a hundred thousand dollars really isn't any money. We're looking for somebody. I what I feel like the women are looking for somebody who's willing to share their shit. They don't have to not necessarily be tricking. No, she said it. No, I'm like, I'm no, no. Go, she on. said if you're in the house with me and I got bills, if you can't pay for them, I'm looking you for you for? to help me. You can't even. Any, you know any, I'm dude, crazy? any dude that's with a woman are is you not you? going to just watch her struggle. And have it. I don't give a fuck who they are. I'm not just gonna just watch her. It doesn't matter. Like, yo, you need to come out to pay your rent. I'm here all the time. I'm not gonna watch you just struggle. You know what's so crazy? And I don't need to be rich. You know what's so crazy? I was broke for a while. I did not want to be with no man. Uh -huh. And now I'm close to 100,000. I don't want to be with you if you don't got anything close to that. Because <clears throat> I don't buy no Chanel. See, that goes back to when I said it's all about the time that you spend with yourself and analyze yourself. Because when you, when you feel like you're not where you should be in life, it calls, it, it, you ain't yourself. Like, like they say, eat a Snickers. You're not yourself when you're hungry. You ain't yourself when you broke too. But how is about how do you deal with that? How do you handle it? How do you move forward with it? Like, if your priorities really in the right place and you know you broke, you is not finna be out here looking to fuck or looking to date. You gonna be focused on how do I get this money? How do I get myself in a comfortable position so I can enjoy my life? You're gonna be looking for things that are going to put you where you need to be, where you wanna be. So, yeah. And then once you get to that point, once you like, I, right, I'm cool, I'm good where I'm at, I'm working so I can start the date, you gonna be looking at other motherfuckers like you complacent with being where you at. You just got yourself from that drought that you was in and now you meet another motherfucker that's in a drought. It's like, you cool with that? Like they gotta be on the same level as you. They gotta match. They gotta match you. They gotta match what's going on here. Y'all gotta be on the same page.
facts. I don't buy no nothing so I could get my money up. You know what I'm saying? Right. So like, yeah, I gotta fix my credit, but my cash paper is right. But I'm not gonna sit there with a man that's not. You know how, how much I struggle. You know, at that time to take it. No, we need a balance. What are you doing to get your money up? What are you doing to help me? I help you. I could teach you yes, things. You could See, she said I could teach you things, and she, I think she was finna say you could teach me things. It's all about having a plan. I just said that it's earlier on in the video. What are what are you doing? What do you have? Uh, what's your goal for this month? What's that's a short term goal? What are you in 30 days? What will you have accomplished? What are you intending on doing with with this with this month with this week? I think it's good to set goals month by month, and week that week too. It's good. But what's what's your goal? Teach me things, but you're not gonna sit there. Oh, you know you're faithful. Just because you're faithful, I gotta do with all your bullshit. That's just that's just that don't make make sense. I don't make deal with that. Oh, cause you're faithful, I gotta deal with everything that you do. And a lot of time a man is faithful, and be, being that they're broke, they're so frustrated, and they're so stressed, they because they have anger issues. Now you deal with a man that have anger because they can't give you what they want to give you. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I know you're gonna give me the world, but you can't. So you get frustrated. Yeah. Now you get angry. Yeah. Now it's yeah. like they wanna hate you. That they wanna. They don't want you to go out the house and become insecure. It's a lot. You know, being broke is a lot. I've been broke. Sometimes I get angry. I, I was living with my, my family. I was so broke. I would take my anger out of my family. I would say angry things. And I don't even really mean it. But it's like, I'm broke. What the fuck? And see, that's what I mean when it. It don't have nothing to do with you sometimes why a person is acting the way that they act and just give them their space. It don't have nothing to do with you a lot of the times like it's, it's something that they're dealing with their own insecurity that they're projecting out so that is the end of this royal family discussion let me know do y'all enjoy this type of content as much as i enjoy it because i really enjoy it and if you like to keep up with the Betty's vibe, you can on Instagram at the Royal Betty. If you would like to listen to any of my vibes, because you know I make music, right? You can on YouTube at the Royal Betty. If you would like to see what goes on behind the scenes of Royal Betty Cosmetics, you can check out the Instagram page at Royal Betty Cosmetics. And if you would like to see the products that we offer on the website, you can at readyreadycosmetics.com. Okay, and that is all for this Betty discuss. That is all for this Ray Family discussion. Uh, that is all for this meeting, Ray Family meeting adjourned. Bye.